You know, one of the things that we did early in this session is that the House invested $2.2 billion using federal funds to help Washington recover from the pandemic. And that's huge. And we want to continue doing more of those things. We passed House Bill 1368, and the first plan is to allocate $240 million to continue small business grants that began in 2020. So we're going to continue some of those grants. We also passed a bill to help ensure that state and federal funds designed to aid small business during the COVID-19 pandemic stay with the businesses who desperately need it most. Those are the things that we're doing, and we're not going to stop. We're going to keep doing some of those things. I'll tell you what I believe that we all need to do. We need to talk about this all the time. We need to make sure we all wear a mask, that we wash our hands, and that we maintain safe distance. Those are the things that all of us have to do. We have to encourage those things. And I'm pleased to say that I believe we're doing it because we are getting things under control in our state. You know, we need to recover from this pandemic. We're going to invest $6 million in health care. We're going to invest another $5 million in student assistance program and $66 million in long-term care and developmental disability care. We will continue to do those things. And as we do them, we're going to help our state. And we're working together as a state. After what we dealt with in 2020, I want to wish everybody in our state, our nation, and the world peace, patience, and kindness. Thank you.